Yes. Yes. So hello, everyone. That is the theme to the 226th General Assembly that is being held later this summer in Salt Lake City, Utah. Marion and I are standing for co-moderators, and we probably ought to introduce ourselves so everybody could know who we are. Glad to. I'm the Reverend Marion McClure Taylor. I'm a teaching elder member of the Mid-Kentucky Presbytery. I live in Shelbyville, Kentucky with my husband, Stephen Taylor, who is a psychiatrist, and our cat, whose name is Mr. Kitty. How about you? Well, I'm Danny Morales. I am pastor of New Covenant Presbyterian Church in the Liberty City area of Miami. I live in Homestead in um, a suburb about 30 miles south of Miami where I live with my husband, Ebert, my personal violinist, as I call him, and with our baby cat, Aria Stark. Uh, we, are the we are the house of Stark. Uh, of King's Landing or Winterfell for those of you Game of Thrones fans out there. But we're thrilled with the theme for this year's assembly, the Live Into Hope theme. I'm very hopeful about the Presbyterian Church USA. There's a lot of evidence of God's blessing on this denomination. I'm particularly thrilled with our progress on uh, opposing racism and poverty of doing innovative, creative work with new worshiping communities, of working on the repair of historic harms, a lot of ways that I feel that we're being blessed. And at the same time as co-moderators, it would be part of our work, I think, to help convene the people to uh, work on any areas that need further improvement. And this hope is very near and dear to our heart. Marion and I would like to expand on that theme by focusing on the text from Isaiah, where God speaks about not remembering the things of old, but rather focusing on the new, the things that are unfolding. And that invites us into a space and place of hope. In this time of uncertainty that we find ourselves in as a church, as a people of faith, uh, nothing uplifts the soul more than hanging on to hope. And that is a theme that we hope to carry out. Our stoles are significant of that theme or representatives of that theme rather. Uh, in that text, uh, God speaks about making rivers in the desert, about creating a way out of no way. Uh, and that speaks to the broader theme of hope that the church needs to live into. Absolutely. You know, uh, people might also like to know us a little more personally. And so why don't we tell them a little something they wouldn't know any other way? Go uh, right ahead. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go first. Um, I love the Kung Fu Panda movies. I don't know how many of you have seen them. Often, Stephen and I will be the only couple in a, a movie theater showing a children's movie uh, who aren't accompanied by children. But I've seen all four of the Kung Fu Panda movies. And I think he's adorable. I think the, it's visually beautiful, but I think it's wonderful how this innocent panda uh, strives so hard to achieve a dream and ends up being used to save his people. How about you? Well, a fun fact about me, once upon a time, I wanted to be a weatherman. And so during my junior year in high school, I did an internship at the National Hurricane Center where I had the opportunity to work with Max Mayfield, who later went on to be the director of the National Hurricane Center. One day while I was at the center, I asked Max to give me the layout of how I ought to accomplish this goal. And so Max went on to talk to me about uh, recommended universities. And then he went on to talk about the coursework, specifically all the math that this involved. So trigonometry, calculus, physics, all that wonderful stuff. At which point I interrupted Max and said, Max, it was great to know you. I will watch all your work on television from the comforts of my home. And instead, here I am serving as a teaching elder, as a minister. Uh, so, And I'm so glad to get to know you with the help of some mutual friends. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that I think we all really enjoy about General Assemblies mm -hmm. is the chance to uh, make new acquaintances and reinforce old ones. It's that fellowship that the church is really built upon. And uh, I think that's how God's spirit can help us all to be a witness to Jesus Christ. And I look forward to it. And we look forward to seeing all of you, to getting to know all of you, to connect with all of you at the, at the assembly. Uh, we also look forward to serving as your co-moderators, if the way be clear. Come join us this summer at General Assembly, Salt Lake City, Utah. See you then. See you then.